there are three things to be successful, ability, affability, and, and access. I think he used another word. And you're very affable. I'm sure you're very able to, but how do you do that access? What are your hours and why do you think that's important? It, it's a huge thing, actually. When I do prenatal visits, I always ask, how'd you hear about us? And what good things did you hear? That kind of thing. And that's one of the first things our families always say. And it's what they tell their friends when they're having new babies is, oh, we love the hours. Some of this is, you know, because of our size, because we have a big staff or we're not torturing any one person, never say, you know, we have enough people to rotate through our. So Monday to Thursday, we open at 7.30 and we're open till 9 p.m. And then Friday, we close at six and then we are open Saturday and Sunday mornings for urgent visits. How many people are working until 9 p.m.? Usually two, usually a DOP and an MP. Yeah. So that's, and then what we, what we do is we flex that too. In the summer times, we'll fill that, those evening hours with more physicals. Right. And now, as we go to fall into the winter, we will flex into having less of that booked ahead of time so that we can do more illness visits in the evening. Interesting. You were telling me last night that 7.30 appointment is always booked. Yes, very much. That's one of the things as I've come into more of a managing role on, um, uh, and one of the things I've wanted to do is, as you can imagine in a big office like ours, there are some things that have lived on just because they are. And so I have wanted to rethink everything to, from the ground up. And one of the things I had thought of is to be, to be at eight to nine or something along those lines. Do we really need to open at seven thirty? We do have some staff that drive in from quite a distance. And so it's a, it's a little bit of a stretch to get there that way. Again, honestly, I'm not a warning person. When I broached it a couple of times, the office staff all told me, don't you dare. The patients love those hours, probably even more than the nine o'clock, the, the PM hours, because they can get a kid in, get them seen before, before the start of their day. And they made the point, they asked me, they said, has, has your 7.30 slot ever been open? And I was like, no, you're right. And I've been at this practice now for 10, 11 years, that 7.30 slot is always booked. So was, I, I never thought of early morning being an important part of the access, but, but it, it really is. It's very much used. No, it's very important to people. Now you became man managing partner after being the IT guru for the practice. Mm -hmm. What's the top one thing a managing partner needs to know and why? Yes. Yeah. So, and this is recent too. I came into the practice actually specifically as the IT guy, because I, I had spearheaded the EMR of a previous practice. At Panorama, their doc that had done the same thing, we had actually worked together when we were each trying to decide the EMR for our perspective, respective practices. So I knew he had hit retirement age and I was looking for a new place. So I stepped in as he stepped out. So I came in as the IT guy to this office. And then just within the last year or two, we had a reshuffle and decided to kind of solidify our roles and really get, have someone have the clinical director role, have someone have the operations role, someone have the finance role, that kind of thing. And the, but we had always had a managing partner and that person was stepping down. So I stepped into that role and what we did was we dovetailed in 2023, we shared it. And now here in 2024, it's me. So this has been an interesting experience for me. And I'm going to be answering some of these questions as a little bit of a, a sophomore for myself, but from what I've learned so far. The very, very first uh, thing I think that has hit me is know yourself. Uh, things you need to know, you need to know yourself. We all have management styles. We all have strengths and weaknesses, and you have to know those things. 